Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make this on point table runner and I've chosen Jubilee fabric because this would be perfect for your garden party with the upcoming Queen's Jubilee. So what we need to make this is we need six squares of a light fabric. So that's this one with the buses and the taxis. And these are five inch squares. And we also need six that are slightly darker. So our Union Jack ones. And then we need two 10 inch squares, which we cut on the diagonal. And that is for our blue ones here with the teacups on. So I'm just going to show you how this goes together because it's on point and it's a really quick, easy way of doing on point. So I've got my five inch squares already cut here in two piles and we're going to join those together in a moment to make this four patch. And then I had two 10 inch squares of the blue, that one I've already cut. So this one, I'm just going to cut across on the diagonal. So I'm just cutting that corner to corner. So you can see that that's my two pieces that make up these triangles here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the machine and we are going to create three of these four patches. So we're going to create three blocks of four like this. So that's our three there. So I'm just going over to the sewing machine to sew those together. So you may have noticed I've got a lovely new machine. I've got the Benina 570 Quilters Edition. So I'm really looking forward to making future videos on this machine. So I'm joining my pieces together to make the four patch and we're using a quarter inch seam and I've got a neutral color thread in my machine. stopping with my needle down so I can pick them up and chain piece them. So you can see that I'm joining a Union Jack to a London bus fabric. So we're just going back over to the iron to press these. So just snipping these threads where I've chain pieced. And then I'm going to set my seams and I'm going to press all of these towards the darker fabric. So that's our Union Jack fabric. And it's really important that these are pressed in a certain way so that we can butt our seams together. So on this one, we're going to be pressing to the dark side throughout. So now I'm going to join two of these so that they form our block of four like that. And this is why I said it was important to press our seams to the dark side, because then you can see on this camera, if you push those seams together, they lock. So I'm just going to pop a pin in there just to hold those. And I'm going to do that with all of my patches. So I end up with three 
blocks of four. So I'm just going to the iron now to press these. So I'm just going to press these. And now I'm going to lay these out with our blue triangles. I just saw one with a loose thread. I was just going to tidy that up first. Here we are. So we're going to lay them like this because we want it on point. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our triangles in. So with our middle, our middle one here, we need to join two blue triangles, one that way. and one that way. So I'm going to start with the middle piece and I'm going to join all of these three together. Let's just move those out of the way so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is our center block of three and we're going to join a blue triangle to this straight side here and this straight side here. And you'll notice that this is fractionally bigger than this one. So you've got a quarter of an inch overhang either side, but that is right because when you come to machine that, when you flip it back, that will all line up. So I'm going back to the machine and I'm going to join those three first of all. And now I'm going back to the iron to press those. So I'm setting my seam and then I'm pressing this towards the blue fabric. Right, so this is our center here. So we've got a blue triangle that side and that side. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to put this triangle, which is this one here, in here. So I'm going to join that to that, and then I'm going to join all the way down on that seam. So that's the next stage. So now I'm going to join this seam all the way down. And so I'm going to match up, let's just cut these little threads out of the way so you can see better. So now I'm going to match up this seam here. I'm just going to push those two together. And that's why I said about pressing it towards the darker fabric. So just pop a pin in there. I'm going back to the machine and I'm going to sew all the way down.
So I'm just going over to the iron to press that. So I'm just going to set the seam where we've sewn down. I'm going to flip that back and press that. So now you can see, I'll just move this one out the way for a moment. So now you can see our next block will go at the other end. So basically we're just going to repeat what we did at this end at this end. So if we line that up, and that's our other triangle. So we would sew that triangle to this piece here and then we'd press it back and then we would sew that piece to that piece as we did at that end and that is how you do your table runner on point and so the next thing to do if I just bring back the one that I've already made so the next thing to do would be to quilt it and on this one I've done tram lines either side of my seams and I've just put a calico back on there and I've put some red binding on it so that would be perfect for your garden party table. I'm just going to show you another example where I've made it slightly longer and I've done it in different colours. So it's the same principle but you just need more of these blocks and more triangles. So you can make it as big as you want, as long as you want. So there's this one. Let me just gather this one up a minute. So I've made this one using our B fabric and I've done my four patches in gray and white and my triangles in green. And then I just did a big quilting wavy line stitch straight down these lines which were the long seams to join straight down there and there. I haven't done anything round the centre pieces because it's quite a small area that's probably just enough quilting and then I've put some binding on it which is a mixture of greys and blacks so you can see that that is longer because we've got an extra Four patch at the end so you could do it longer than that if you wanted to or you could put two side by side and make a bed runner if you wanted to so there's lots you can do so as always make it your own have fun and I look forward to seeing you here in the sewing studio the next time